notice, are you wondering yet what this crazy magic crayon is? I will tell you, these are oil pastels. It's something we've talked about and I use quite often in a lot of my demos for making, you know, the final marks on something and on a painting or mixed media. But have you ever just taken them and worked out a way to create a whole painting? This is actually called a painting. I know it's not using paint, but when you're using soft or oil pastel, it's still a painting. And uh, I used to create quite a few of these pieces. It's really perfect for testing out ideas just to, you know, get your marks down and, and feel the composition and color and design. And, and I feel like that was one of the easiest paintings that's come to me in the longest time because it felt like play. It didn't feel like work. It, it felt free to make a mark and to scribble and doodle. And you saw how as I draw, it reveals the color underneath. That's not just the pencil. It's kind of scraping away the oil pastel. So here I am just practicing some more, playing with this art journal, our, our creative process art journal, which is exactly what I'm working on here is the creative process, right? Um, I'm sticking to the colors as of right now. Not perfectly. This isn't about, you know, the perfect match. I mean, I've only got so much I can do using these pastels. So there is some blending that's possible, as you might have noticed. As I work in the colors together, I can take another color and blend it back and obscure it so you can see how you know this is peachish pink and I come back in with my cream color and I'm making some new marks there. I wanted to add a little more purple to this because even though we have a very light kind of pastel purple I'm, I don't think I have that not too close but I wanted to play with these colors a little more it was one of the earlier sketches I did in this art journal and so I can come back in Maybe even this one. This is a very pale pink. I got the whole set here um, and you can replace them bit by bit if you have one color that you use up. Like for me, white and cream I use a lot because they're perfect for blending and keeping your work light and airy and not over over um, dark, making it too dark. Because if you used all these colors, they'd be pretty saturated. Oh look, a little bit of green's getting in it. You can just wipe them down with a cloth. If they're getting dirty. These don't blend with water. These are oil pastels. So you saw me working with my hands a bit. You can, you can actually get out the terpenoids, the, the odorless mineral spirit, if you will, from oil paints to use for blending, which I have done on some bigger paintings before. Uh, it's just something that I try to avoid because I don't want um, those chemicals to breathe them. Even if you can't smell them, you're still breathing them. And that's primarily why I chose to work in acrylics is they're just a lot less toxic than um, what it takes to work with oil paints. But these are oil pastels and they're not really toxic at all unless you're planning on eating them, which I don't think that you are. <laughs> so I'm just playing with the colors and the shapes and thinking about maybe what larger paintings, compositions that I would use for larger paintings, which marks I like the most. Like I really loved kind of this very soft, ethereal, floaty feeling of some of the flowers and the little line works. And it feels like an overgrown garden without too much specific detail of what each piece is. How I would translate that into a bigger painting, we'll see. Um, I haven't decided exactly where I want to go with all of my artwork this year, and floral is definitely on the list because, as I've said many times, I, I love abstract, but I still feel it's fun for me to abstract something that's known. So for me, florals are perfect for that. Artist, I was really hoping to give you another choice for working in your art journals. There is so much freedom and play in the possibility of using oil pastel. And I hope that I kind of gave you enough of a demo that you'll consider a new way to play with them, actually working out and building your entire painting just using this one material. Now, did I love my results? I don't know, but I sure had fun doing it. I mean, all I had to do was get in here and play just a little bit. The next thing I know, I've got, you know, a little, few new ideas recorded and yeah, I did. I enjoyed this, but um, where will I go with it? I'm not sure, but that's the whole point of our art journals is, is to just kind of go with the flow and play with it and kind of see where you want to go next in your art journey. There you go. There's some oil pastels. You can see I'm blending it with my finger right now. You can use odorless mineral spirits, but let's keep it easy. Here's the only challenge I'm going to tell you. This will spread all over your page. There's no doubt about it. These don't dry very well. I think over time they harden. I have a lot of paintings that I've used 
and they do kind of harden over time but in your art journal you're going to want to keep from making a mess so this is my advice to you if you decide to use oil pastel and you're worried actually any page that's kind of sticking and and the um, fixative didn't work for you all you need is a piece of deli paper or wax paper right and just do a quick trim to size this one happens to have a nice line right down the middle already um we're going to protect our page by putting little inserts in. So here we go. Um, I'm not trying to be exact or perfect, but I do want to um, leave my page looking halfway decent. I'm just going to use some transparent tape, and I'm going to tape it right down in here along that line. And then the advantage of this is we've protected our, our work, our little project page, and that can just flip right over you have a double-sided and I can take a look at each idea without worrying about it smearing onto the other. All right, so what do you think of this? Um, oil pastels I'm using. Neo Pastel by Caronda Osh. Sennelier is pretty good. Um, I definitely do not recommend the Michaels brand or the really cheap brands. In fact, Crayola makes an oil pastel that's even better than the Artist Loft brand. Um, you want them to be smooth and buttery, not waxy. So if they kind of come off in chunks and they can't blend really easily, then they're probably not a very good pastel. And that would be the reason why you might get frustrated with the thought of using oil pastels. But when you're using good quality and you don't need a whole lot of different colors because they can blend right there on your page, um, when you're using a good quality, they do um, they do mix up quite well and, and you can use them to create a whole painting in and of themselves. So what do you think of that?